Hello, I'm Mary, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot HTTP 403 forbidden errors when using an AWS Lambda authorizer with an Amazon API Gateway REST API. Let's get started. An API Gateway REST API with a Lambda authorizer returns a 403 error usually for one of the following reasons. The Lambda authorizer function returns a policy document that explicitly denies access to the caller. The API has an attached resource policy that explicitly denies access to the caller. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Lambda console. Then choose Create a Function to create a sample Lambda function to use as the backend to our API later. Choose a name for your Lambda function, leave all other default as is, and then choose Create Function. Choose Test and create a new test event. In the event name, enter a name and then choose Create. Choose the Test button to test your function. Now let's create another Lambda function to use as our API authorizer later. Choose Functions and then choose Create Function. Choose a name for your Lambda function. Select the Python 3.8 runtime and then choose Create Function. I'll update the function code to return a simple policy document. Choose the Deploy button to deploy the changes. Note that for this demonstration, the code is very simple and not doing additional checks but a more practical code will have robust checks for credentials. Also, when troubleshooting Lambda Authorizer, pay attention to the resource field. This field should match the resource that the API expects. Now let's create our API. Navigate to the API Gateway console. Choose Create API. Scroll down, find REST API and then choose Build. Enter a name for your API and then choose Create API. Choose Authorizers and then choose Create New Authorizer. Enter a name for the authorizer. Go back to your Lambda functions and find the Lambda IRN of the Lambda Authorizer. Go back to API Gateway Console and paste the Lambda IRN in the Lambda function field. Leave the Lambda Invoke role as blank. Choose Token as the Lambda Event Payload. Enter a token source. Enter the token validation. Untick Authorization Caching and then choose Create. Choose Grant and Create to add permission to Lambda function to be invoked by API Gateway. Note that for this demonstration, we are using a hard-coded token source and token validation for simplicity. In real-world scenarios, you may use regular expression instead. Also, if cache is enabled on the API Gateway authorizer configuration, then the policy returned by the Lambda Authorizer code will cover all API resources if the authorizer is to be used for multiple resources. Choose Resources and then choose Actions. Choose Create Method. Select Get HTTP Method from the drop-down list and then choose the tick beside it to save your choice. Go to the Lambda tab and copy the Lambda IRN of Lambda for API. Go back to the API Gateway console and paste the Lambda IRN in the Lambda function field. Choose Save and then choose OK to give API Gateway permission to invoke the Lambda function. Choose Method Request. Refresh the page. Choose the little pen besides authorization and then select Token Authorizer from the drop down list. Save by selecting the tick button. 
Choose Resource Policy to add a resource policy to the API. Add the following resource policy to the API and then choose Save. This resource policy allows the invoke action by anyone on every API. I'm using the policy for the sake of this demo. It is a broad policy and it is not intended to be used on production environments. Deploy the API by choosing Actions and then choosing Deploy API. For this demonstration, I'll create a new stage. Choose the Stages and choose Test to see the Invoke URL for the API. Now let's test the API. Open Postman and paste the Invoke URL in a new tab. Make sure Get is selected from the drop-down list. Add the correct token to the Headers tab in Postman and Test. You should see 200 OK. Note if you leave the Headers tab blank, you will get a 401 unauthorized error. Now let's test another scenario. Navigate to the API Gateway console and choose Resource Policy. Change the effect from Allow to Deny and then choose Save. After any changes to Authorizer or Resource Policy, the API must be redeployed. Now test the API again in Postman and let's see what happens. You'll get an error like this. User Anonymous is not authorized to perform Execute API Invoked on Resource. Go back to the API Gateway Resource Policy and revert the effect from Deny to Allow and test again on Postman. The error should be fixed. Test again on Postman. The error should be fixed. The last scenario to explore is to change the Lambda Authorizer AWS Identity and Access Management Policy. Go to the Lambda console and find your Lambda Authorizer. In this case, our Lambda Authorizer is named Authorizer for API. Change the permission from Allow to Deny and deploy the code. Test the API in Postman again. This time, you'll get an error similar to User is not authorized to access this resource with an explicit deny. To fix the error, go back to the Lambda console and change the permission back to Allow and then deploy the Lambda function. In Postman, hit Send again to test the API. The error should go away. To summarize, if you get 403 forbidden errors when using a Lambda authorizer with API Gateway, then depending on the error message, there are two possibilities for the cause of the error. The Lambda authorizer function returns an IAM policy document that explicitly denies access, or the API resource policy explicitly denies access to the caller. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.